Good morning, anybody excited to be in the house today? Come on, anybody ready to worship? Let's give God a shout of praise in this place. Woo! Let's get ready to sing this out. Hey. If you walked in sin, come on, you're going to walk out here. If you walked in bound, you're going to walk out free. Here's why. Because just a mention of his name. Oh, come on, lift it up. Just a mention of his name. We believe this morning. Just a mention of his name. Everything can change. Everything can change. Hey, if you walked in heaven, you're going to walk out loud. If you walked in weary, you're going to be all right. Here's why. It's just a mention of his name. Just a mention of his name. Oh, sing it out, sing it out. Just a mention of his name. Everything can change. Everything can change. Hey, if you want. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
Isn't it good just to be at church on a Sunday morning? Amen. Well, why don't you go ahead and take a moment, give somebody a high five, let them know how excited you are to be at church on today. Amen. Amen. try to say here, I want you to give Vibrant at least three times to get the full Vibrant experience. So if you are a VIP today, you picked a great day to start coming to Vibrant because it's Baptism Sunday. Yeah. It's exciting. Come it's on. a whole day's great. Yeah. So great morning and yep. then later this evening we got some fun too. So later this evening we have at the Lock and Dam at 6.30 p.m. Mark that. 6.30 p.m. We're gonna have inflatables, water inflatables for your kids, a bunch of activities, all kinds of things. We have food trucks coming in for purchase. Uh, there's just a lot of stuff to do, live music. Uh, I mean, I, I'm excited, I'm oh, ready. I'm, I'm excited ready. too. And then in the At evening, the end, this is the big thing. Yeah. This is the big thing. We have a whole fireworks presentation when Susan gets dark, so you do not wanna miss that. We've encouraged people, bring out your friends, bring out your family. This is a great event to invite somebody that you wouldn't normally even invite. Invite your, your mother-in-law. That's right. Hey, well, she goes here, yeah. so I'm good yeah. in that regard. Yeah. But it is good. We want you to be here. And uh, some people have asked in the lobby, they said, what time is the fireworks? Yeah. Listen, it's at the end. That's right. So we'll see you at 630. <laughs> when it gets dark, I don't that know That way the... you don't miss all of the fun because we want you to be there also uh, this week, normally, we would have what we call First Wednesday here at Vibrant, but because of the July 4th holiday, we will not be having that uh, this week, so just take note of that. If you show up, it's just church in the parking lot, I guess, yeah. by yourself. Uh, just, so just make a note of that for yeah, sure. That's right, and starting next week, we are going into a brand new series called At The Movies. Yeah. Are you excited for yeah. At The Movies? We love it every year. It's a special time where we take movies that you and I would recognize and we pull biblical truths out of those. And it's always an impactful time. Invite somebody new. We're going to have a great time together. That's really right. Good. And like you said earlier, just invite them for the movie. That's it. And they'll be excited and then we'll hit we, them with the then, message. Then we got you. Yeah, and they won't even know what hit them. That's so right. it's perfect. So be sure to invite them for that. And as always, we're grateful for a generous church. Yes, yes. We want to thank you for being generous and and partnering with us. We believe in being a generous right. church. Uh, we believe that we move forward at the speed of our generosity. And in fact, some of the things we're able to do because of your generosity are, are exemplified from this past week. Kids Camp yeah. was this yeah. past week, and it was so good. We had three full days. And we can't do events like this without you. It's Kingdom Impact, so thank you for partnering with us. Take a look at this video on the screen from Kids Camp. Isn't that awesome? 
can you let all of our kids team and all of our next gen department know how much we appreciate them and thankful for them and all that they did this last week amazing pastor T josiah told me it was getting close to the 500 uh i think that's the number of kids that were here during the day i mean just incredible or during the evenings what an incredible time we're so thankful that we get to be part of a church that honors and believes in the power of influencing the next generation for jesus amen everybody Amen. Hey, listen, we want to say thank you for being a part of the service today and joining us online. I know this is a big travel weekend, uh, it's July 4th weekend, and so we're glad you're here with us. It means the world. And just want to say really quickly how grateful I am, and I know I'm speaking on behalf of a lot of people, to be in a free country. We're so thankful for the United States of America. We're blessed. We really are. And before I move on in the service, if there's anybody, just really quickly, I love to do this a couple times a year, if there's anybody who serves or has served in any branch of the military, do me a favor, just right where you are, I'm not going to embarrass you, just stand up so we can see you and honor you today. Any branch, if present in the past, thank you. Wow, come on church, let them know how much we appreciate them. Wow. Thank you so much for your service. We honor you. We're so thankful for the freedom that God gives. Can we pray for our country right now? Can we just do that? I said, can we do that? Father, we thank you so much for this nation. The Bible says, blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. And so I pray that this nation will continue to be a free country. I pray, Father, that revival will come from the East Coast to the West Coast, that revival, your spirit, will fall in this nation and people will begin to call on the name of the Lord. God, we pray for our leaders, that your hand be upon them. We pray for the election this coming fall, that your hand be present and that you will do a mighty work in this nation. You're not done with the United States yet. In Jesus' name, and the church said, amen. Come on, give God some praise. Now today, we are really excited to be having our baptisms, and what this is, is we like to give you the opportunity occasionally throughout the year where we go public with our baptisms. This is a way of going public with your faith and telling the world that you have decided to follow Jesus. Now there may be some people in here today wondering why do we do baptisms, uh, really, one of the reasons we do it, in fact, the main reason we do it, is found in the Word of God, Matthew chapter 28. Jesus is wrapping up his earthly ministry, and he's about to ascend, and he tells the disciples this, therefore, go, everybody say go, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit spirit and watch what happens next teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you and be sure of this I am with you always even into the end of the age what Jesus was telling and commissioning his disciples to do was go get as many people in this thing go get as many people create disciples once they believe, they are next to be baptized. And the word baptized is baptizo in the Greek, which means to be immersed. So what you're going to see today are people who have declared Jesus as Lord and Savior of their life. And then they're going to be baptizo. They're going to be immersed in water, declaring to the world, to the devil and to God, the past is the past, the future is the future, and I have decided to follow Jesus. That's what we're going to see today. So this is nothing new. We've been doing baptisms for thousands and thousands of years where we have been following Jesus and going all in with our faith. So I'm really excited. Today we have a new model. I'm going to explain what we're going to do today. Uh, we have to do, we're going double barrel shotgun today. <laughs> a little different than we've ever done it before. Let me explain why. 
we have had so many people signing up to be baptized, which is a good problem. Somebody say amen. So many people getting uh, signing up to be baptized, and here's what we've run into. We started at the beginning of the year doing interview baptisms where the people who were getting baptized would share a little bit about their journey and why they're being baptized well. We absolutely loved hearing from the people being baptized and them sharing their story. And we loved to hear their heart. And it was just so powerful and like life-changing for our church that we did it again. Well, the problem with continuing to do that model, it's not a problem, but I do want to explain some, uh, maybe some logistical issues. The problem is we can't do that many. So we can do a full Sunday morning, can only do 13, 12, 14 of them, and you have 50 signed up. And so what we didn't want to do was tell people, hey, sign up for baptisms, obey God for your next step, and then you got to wait till 2026 <laughs> to get baptized. So what we're thinking today, this is new, we tried it last service, and we feel it went well, so we're going to try it again is that what we're going to do is that we're going to baptize one on one side and then we're going to move to the next side and we were able to get a lot of people uh, baptized last service and so today we're going to try to empty out the roster come on somebody we're getting everybody who has signed up baptized so I think today's total is somewhere in the 50s or 60s and we're super glad that God is doing some amazing things amen church amen amen and I want to just, I know they already said it, but let me give a plug. I would love to see everybody tonight hang out for a little bit. And you may be thinking, it's just so hot, Pastor Ethan. I get it. I get it. I have nothing to say. You just got to get used to it, people. You live in Mississippi. I'm from Ohio, and I got off the plane yesterday. I was traveling. And when I stepped off of the plane at like 10 o'clock at night, I'm like, why do we live here? It is so hot. But I always joke that's why the Bible Belt, they call the South the Bible Belt. And I always think it's funny. And I see why now, because nobody in the South, after living their whole life through hell heat, would want to go to hell forever. Come on, somebody say amen. It's just the truth. It's way too hot. Anyway, so tonight there's going to be, going to be misting fans, right? And then we have, we got... We have free water, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Jill. We're really investing into you. We love you guys. Anyway, come hang out. It's going to be a lot of fun. We'll do some fireworks together, and uh, we'll have fun. So we'll pray for all these baptisms, and what I'm going to encourage you to do is to celebrate with us uh, what you're going to see today. And every time they come out of that water, I want to encourage you to clap and cheer for them because this is an amazing decision to show the world that they're going all in with their faith. Amen, everybody. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your spirit. We thank you for your kingdom. We thank you for what you're going to do in the hearts and the lives of people today being baptized. What an honor. We don't have to do this. We get to do this. And there are many places, many churches today that would love to see what we get to see today. So we thank you and we, we honor you that, that you trust us with these, with these moments. And we thank you that you're going to continue to do work in our church. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, amen. Amen. All right. Pastor Tommy, I'm going to come to you first, my All right. friend. This is Tristan Tennyson. And he said that he wants to just take the pain from the past, give it to God so that he can make today as a place where he starts a new life with who Jesus is. How old are you, Tristan? Thirteen. Thirteen. And uh, how long have you been coming to the church, you know? Uh, I don't. You don't know? Are you here right now? I am. <laughs> you got some family out there today? I do. You do? Is there, who's out there with him today? Okay, right there. Good, good. Good. I'm super proud of you, man. And how old are you again? 13? 13. Okay. I love it, man. What God's going to do in your life, making a decision, being an influencer, like you said, leaving the pain behind and going all in with your faith. Are you ready? I am. Father, we thank you so much that today, by the profession of his faith, calling on you, making you the Lord and Savior of his life, he makes the next step. And so today we baptize him now in the name of the Father, the Son, 
and the Holy Spirit and in the name of Jesus Christ. It's awesome, man. Awesome. Isn't it awesome to see the next generation stepping up in their faith? Hello, hello. How are you? Good. This is Martina Bullock. Did okay. I pronounce that correctly? And she said, I was baptized at the age of nine. At the age of nine, I understood the reason of being baptized at that age. And growing up, I saw after God. Once I moved out my, of my parents' house, I ran away from God. Over this past year, I'm seeking him harder than ever before. I want to publicly say that I've rededicated my life into his sovereignty. <laughs> That's awesome. What would you tell others out there like you? Don't wait. Seek after him. Follow him. Give him your all as you would to him. Your passion, your dream. Nothing else matters in this world except God. That's right. His grace. Come on. He, this past week, a really, just yesterday we had Bible study, and the word that we used was lavished. We are lavished in God's love, and that just touches you, because we have so much love for our children, but when you hear lavish, it's deeper, and I know that lavish is so much more for God's love for me, God's love for my children, a husband, and my family. I love that. I love that, and we're so happy and proud of you. Is your family here today? Yes, I have my husband, there my four boys, and my oldest is six, and the oldest is 13, March 8th. That's awesome. Dead, dedicated my life. That's awesome. That's powerful. Your family's watching you today, and you're going to leave a mark on them. You know that? Absolutely. Are you ready? Absolutely. Father, we thank you so much. This rededication is beginning again. And I pray that today will be the beginning of a new journey for her in her faith with you. And Father, we pray that you continue to use her and bless her. And as a profession of her faith, saying, I'm saying, I'm following Jesus. I'm saying yes to you. We baptize her now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. That's awesome. I love it. I love it. There's some real tears right there. Isn't that powerful what God can do? How are you today? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So this is Carrie White. She said, after accepting to follow God years ago, I slowly drifted away and my world had become very lonely and empty. But it's with His mercy and grace that I'm able to have the opportunity, not just for this, but to foster and later adopt a young man that will be coming into our home. So special. That's awesome. That's great. How long have you been coming to the church? Off and on, four years. Wow. And what drew you to this moment? I went through the discipleship program, and I knew that eventually I was going to come back to this. And so I just slowly came back. But yes. I love it. I'm so happy for you. So you went to the school of discipleship then. Is that what yes. I heard? Okay. Good. Did you enjoy that? I loved it. I love it. Yeah. Lot. And we have another semester coming up in August. What would you tell the people about the School of Discipleship? This is a little bit of a commercial. I'm going to use you for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> On the days that it becomes overwhelming, don't give up. Keep going. I love it. I love it. Super proud of you and this new journey with family and what God's going to do. And that this, I hope today is a beginning symbolically and spiritually of moving forward, leaving the past behind and stepping forward to whatever God has more in store for you. You believe that? Yes, sir. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Father, I thank you so much for Carrie today. And we pray that as a profession of her faith, saying yes to you, we baptize her now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and in the name of Jesus Christ. Awesome. Hello, hello. This is Hope Delk. And do you want to share to see what God's been doing? Just recently. He gave me a beautiful daughter that was 8 pounds, 13.3 ounces when she was born. And I wasn't supposed to have kids. <laughs> That's wonderful. How old is your daughter? Five months. Five months. Wow. Well, you're making a good decision to go all in with your faith, being a spiritual influence to your children, and that God, that you take God serious. 
That's what we're doing today. Just saying, you know what, God, I, I make you priority and I want to take you serious. And as we do that in our heart, it leaves it leaves a, a ripple effect in the family that are raising up un, under our influence. And that's what you're going to do with your child. What's her name? Raylan. Raylan. What made you get to, uh, baptized today? Just the fact that I want her to know that her mama wants to be in it, so she wants to do it one day too. Yeah. That's wonderful. You ready? Father, we thank you so much for the decision to go all in with her faith. And Father, I pray that she'll be a mother that you've called her to be, that she'll be a person that will influence her child for you. And Father, we pray that you continue to use her in the days ahead. And as a profession of her faith, we baptize her now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise God. What's up, man? It's good to see you again. So this is Chance Cockrell, and he's 22, and he said that he's just been through a lot, and today he just wanted to, actually what he said was it's better to do this now than to try to wait and figure it out later. So he's making the right move today. Yeah. I love that. You know, there's a scripture in the Bible I think about often that says, seek him while he may be found. And then another scripture says, today is the day of salvation. In other words, there needs to be a sense of urgency with faith. You just can't keep putting it off. And when we want to do it, when we're convenienced, when God's calling us home, when God's speaking to us, when God's asking us for our next yes, whether that be baptizing or tithing or uh, sowing seeds or honoring people or whatever that is, that... It, you, I, I, I believe in just being obedient quickly, quick obedience. And I think that shows God's faith and that's what you're doing today. What would you say to other people in your position today? What would you say to other guys out there that are maybe going back and forth on being baptized? What would you say? prayer for you today. The past ain't coming with you. You know that. The past can be haunting. The past can do that to us, but my prayer for you today is going to stay in the water. It's going to be a, this will be a burial. You know, you go under and it's going to be some things that are just going to stay there. It can't come back with you. You believe that? Are you ready? Father, I thank you for my friend today being baptized. I know that you love him. I know you care for him. And I pray in the name of Jesus that you continue to bless him and use him and speak to him. And as a profession of his faith, we baptize him now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and in the name of Jesus Christ. Wonderful. That's awesome. What's up, man? How you doing? Uh, what's your name? J.V. Hudgens. Are you cold? I could tell. I thought the Holy Ghost was on him there for a minute. How old are you? Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, where do you go to school? South Lamar. Where at? South Lamar. Okay, I got you. It's hard to hear up here with no monitors, uh, but uh, we got monitors. Were these here last service? No, they added them? I still can't hear nothing. What's going on? Wow, man. And how old are you again? Fifteen. And you are go to South Lamar. And uh, what drew you to this decision today? Yes. Next, yes. What would you say to other 15-year-old? Do it. Do it. Proud of you, man. You got some family or friends out here today? There you go, right there. That's awesome. Isn't this awesome today? Seeing your family get baptized. You ready, buddy? Father, we thank you so much for the calling of God on his life. Thank you for his obedience, his simple yes, his next yes, saying yes to you, Father. Father, we, we, we come in agreement today. We, we pray that the rest of his life will be blessed and favored and that you will continue to use him. And as a profession of his faith, 
saying yes to you. We baptize him now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and in the name of Jesus Christ. Awesome, man. Pastor Ethan, this is uh, Gabriella Cockrell. Uh, she, this is shared from her request, but uh, the last couple years have been tough. Um, in April, uh, they lost a child. And uh, when they found out she was pregnant, she told God, I'm going to commit my life to you. And I'm going to raise this child. And when the baby passed away, she said, that's, that's not the end for me. And I'm going to continue to serve God. And I'm going to continue to do what I know that God called me to do. Can you do me a favor and let, you, let her know how much you love her? You may not know her, but you can love her. I'm proud of you. I really am. I know this wasn't easy. And I'm sure you could have all kinds of different emotions today. But nothing can separate you from the love of God. And He loves you. He's got His hand on you. He's not forgotten about you. And I remember the day of being with you, your family. It was a hard day. It was not fun. It was something nobody wanted to happen. But you need to know your baby's in heaven, in the presence of God, safe. Until you get there, safe. And you'll see your baby again. You know that? You'll see your baby again. I'm so proud of you, and I know God loves you. And today, I just pray that some may be hurt and grief. It's okay to grieve. It's okay to hurt. But I pray that God will begin to put some healing oil in broken places today. Is that okay? Is that okay, church? Father, we thank you so much. As she's getting baptized today, the courage it took to come here today and to say yes to you. And I pray today, Father, that you pour healing oil in broken places. Maybe there's some question marks or hurt and pain. But Father, we turn all that to you. And the Bible says you're near the brokenhearted. Be near today. And Father, as these tears fall in this baptism tank, let it be seed sown that weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. I pray joy in her heart and her life. Joy unspeakable and full of glory. The devil may say you'd never laugh again, but the devil is a liar. And today we baptize you as you have professed Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And in the name of Jesus Christ. This is Allie Kelly. Allie. Allie says she asked. Allie, you are sweet, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. I'm sweet, she said. <laughs> she said she asked. Who, who are you looking for, Allie? Who are you looking for? That's who you're looking for? All right. So she asked the Lord to her heart. Awesome, oh, great. She said today's the day she wants to make that decision to go all the way in her faith. Good. How old are you, Allie? Twelve. 12. And this is your mama, huh? How long have you guys been coming to the church? Uh, it's around two years, maybe longer. I can't remember. Okay. Well, good. I'm glad you guys are here today. And I'm glad you came up with her. We could do a two for one. Are you ready to get in? Yeah. <laughs> are you ready? Okay. Father, we thank you so much for the purpose and the calling of God. Jesus said, forbid not the children to come. And so, Father, as she just comes to you saying yes to you, we baptize her now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Wonderful. Hello. This is A.J. Peterson. 
just felt like that she was being led to this decision today to just make a public profession and, and to go forward from what was to what is. Are you kin to this whole crew? Yes. This whole, whoever's in that crew, why don't you just come out then? Yeah, yeah. Okay. They're all related. There's like 15 of them. Yeah, just come on out. This is just a family situation. Okay, good. How old are you again? 16. 16. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Ready. What drew you to this decision today? Hold on. Ten and a half years? Two and a half. I was going to say, girl, you started dating at six? <laughs> I didn't want to make a joke, but I thought, whoa, I just heard something definitely wrong. Yeah, no. All right. Good to see you, Dalton Robinson. Is you got any folks out here? Okay, good, good. And uh, what drew you to this decision today? I just feel like I've been running from God ever since. I'm sorry? I just feel like I've been running from God ever since. Mm. And, and I need to... Yeah. Hey, listen. That's real stuff. You know, I was a little boy when God started calling my name. I was probably eight or nine, and I remember being a little boy in church, and I would cry, and everybody thought it was because my mom whooped me, and sometimes I wasn't sure of myself. <laughs> God's talking to you, son. He's speaking to you. Samuel was the same way. He was a little boy just in the church, and God started talking. I don't know what he's saying to you, but he's knocking on your heart, and he's just beginning to do something great in you. You believe that? Can you put the camera right on him? Look at that. Those are real tears coming out of his eyes right now. It's a beautiful thing. I'm going to pray for you, okay? Remind me of your name again. Dalton Robinson. He has a first and a last name. He wants me to know that. God bless Dalton Robinson. Continue the work in his heart and in his soul. And I pray, Father, you begin to speak to him, minister to him late hours at night. And Father, I pray he doesn't have to fit in with the world. He'll be who you've called him to be. He'll walk the path you want him to walk. He'll follow after you all the days of his life. In Jesus' name. And as a profession of his faith, saying yes to you, we baptize him now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on. Somebody give God praise in the house. I mean, you might as well give God praise. He's touching the next generation. In Jesus' name. I pray that over every mother and father that you'll see your son and daughter in the baptism tank. I, I pray that and speak that over you, that in the days ahead, what you need to see done in the next generation in your house, that Dalton Robinson will be a, a signal to you that God can do the impossible. Amen, church? Hey, Rick. 
love you. It's Rick Peterson, and he said that he's been in church his whole life, and that he knows that Jesus was his Savior, but he, he wasn't his Lord. And that that's the mark that he's making. And his words were, I just want, I'm just glad for the facade to be over. Mm. Powerful. What drew you to this decision, Rick? For many years, I've been on a passion of commitment, holiness, and sacrifice. Because before then, it wasn't real. It was a house of cards. And when that came down, uh, I had to sacrifice the things that I wanted for the things that Christ wanted. I wanted to excuse a lot of things in my life. And through prayer and Bible study, there is no excuse. It is a call to holiness and to sacrifice and to die to yourself. And I've grown up my whole life in church. It was never real. It's real now. It's good. It's good. It's good. Super happy for you. I'm proud of you. It's amazing what God's doing in your family. It is. Through, through a hard stretch. Yeah. And only God can do that. Like, when the Bible says God makes all things work together for the good, I don't know how to make sense of that, but He does that. And I believe it's just the beginning. And that you just being authentic and real with God, He's going to keep leading you and guiding you. And the best is yet to come. You believe that, Rick? This is a man in uniform. We thank God for our police and first responders in our city. Thank you for your service. Are you ready? Father, we thank you so much for Rick today. Thank you that you've been with this family all this, all this time. And as a profession of his faith, in saying yes to you, we baptize him now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and in the name of Jesus Christ. What's up, man? How you doing? Good. How are you? It's good to see you. What's your name? Eric Lennon. And uh, where are you from? Originally from Massachusetts. Massachusetts. What are you doing in town? Retired military. Retired military. Thank God for the military. Thank God for the military. Thank you for your service. Oh, I got stuck here too. So. Oh, well. <laughs> that's how it goes. So you married a Mississippi girl. Yes, I did. Is she here today? She is. Okay, way up. Way up there. She's a little shy. <laughs> well, I'm really, really happy you made this decision. What drew you to the decision? Uh, so I was baptized when I was 10, just a couple of years ago. Yeah. But my wife and I have been coming here for five plus years, and uh, we've been very hesitant to let Jesus back into my life. And I want to take the opportunity to say a lot of it has to do with you and the way you deliver the message. Uh, between that, uh, the support uh, spiritually, Come on. That's awesome, man. Eh? That's awesome. What would you say to other guys out there that maybe are hesitant? Based on what I've learned from, from you and this church, it's never too late. It is never too late. Never too late. Never too late. I'm a very young 44, and here I am. So. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how old you are. You keep throwing different signals. <laughs> Can I tell you today, there may be people in the room that you're thinking... You know, Pastor Ethan, like, can you preach a sermon? Can, like, you didn't, can I tell you today, they're preaching the sermon today. Are you hearing the messages come out? I, I hope you're hearing it because it's never too late. Amen? Are you ready? Father, I thank you so much for this man of God surrendering once again, saying, you know what, here I am, God. There's been some rocky moments and imperfections, and we thank God that you got your hand on his life. And as a profession of his faith, saying yes to you, and in front of everybody live streaming in this room today, we baptize him now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on. I love it. This is Steel Wakefield. Steel Wakefield. And he is 12 years old. That's a country singer's name, kind of. You sound kind of like you're going to be famous. Are you famous now? No. You want to be famous? 
Yes. Okay. Can you sing? No. You, you want to try? No. Okay. All right. He's 12 years old, and he's here today because he wants to put his heart and soul into God. Love it, man. Love it. I love it. I see tears welling up in your yep. eyes. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, what drew you to this moment? Like, when did you make the decision, I'm going to be baptized? When I was saved. Yeah, that's great. Super proud of you, man. You got family out here? That's awesome. We got a big crew with you today. Yeah. You guys proud of him? They drew six and a half hours. Really? Hey, that's good people. That's good people. Where are you guys from? Arkansas. Arkansas. I hate that football team. <laughs> Amen. Just, huh? Amen. Amen. Somebody say, I'm just joking. No, I'm just joking. They never come back. That's the worst six and a half hours ever. Thank you. That means the world. What kind of support do you have? I mean, it's just amazing. You're blessed. You're blessed. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, sir. Father, we thank you so much for Steele today. Make his heart strong, his faith like Steele today. I pray that you continue to do a work in his life and you continue to bless this tender heart. And as a profession of his faith, baptize him now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, steal. We love Arkansas. I shouldn't even said that. I had to get that off my heart before I continued. So this is Dash Robertson. Dash Robertson. Like the incredible Dash. Got it. And uh, he said, I want to be baptized today because I love Jesus. Hey, there you go. How old are you, Dash? Eight. Eight? You're about halfway baptized right now. <laughs> are you ready? I love the scripture. I've already used it before, but I love... Are you guys all related? Okay. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I'm offended. <laughs> All right. You ready, Dash? We thank God for this life today. And as a profession of faith, we baptize him now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and in the name of Jesus Christ. Wonderful. Awesome. Hey, hey. This is Jada Luckett, and she's doing this today just as a display of wanting to be closer to God. That's why she's here. That's wonderful, wonderful. You feel like you've been getting far from God? Yes. Yeah. This is a good decision. It's never wasted time to draw close to God. The Bible says when we draw near to Him, it draws near to us. You ready? All right. Father, thank you so much. As a profession of her faith, the calling of God on her life. We baptize her now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Pastor Tommy shoved her in that tank. <laughs> she was like, I'm getting closer to God, but I'm resisting this baptism. Thank you so much, Pastor Tommy, for not killing her. But th that's awesome. Let her know how much you appreciate her one more time. <laughs> so we have Bentley Smith here. Bentley Smith. And he said, I want to be baptized because I want to be a man of God. Man, this is, this is a good thing. I love it. You ready, Bentley? Yes, sir. You got it right this time? <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. God, thank you so much for Bentley. Let the days ahead be powerful. Make him the man of God you called him to be. Let him be an influencer in family and friends and in the kingdom. And we baptize him now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And in the name of Jesus Christ. Love it. Hey, hey, hey. This is Cricket Guest. 
and she's 13 years old, and last the last year's been tough, and so she just wanted to take this moment as just a symbol of washing all of that away and going forward in God. Awesome. Proud of you. Thank you. Great decision, right? And uh, how long have you been coming to the church, you know? For a while. For a while. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Glad you're in the church. Do you go to students on Wednesday? No, sir. Not yet. Yeah, good answer. Not yet. <laughs> PJ, she don't come to students on Wednesday. For shame. <laughs> for shame. We're going to change that right now. I've never heard for shame. This is a little heard. southerness coming out of me or Look something. Look at you. I'm proud of you. For shame. For shame. All right. Oh. Put your mic down. Stop talking. Okay. <laughs> for shame. That's so funny. Okay. I'm sorry. Super proud of you today. And shame off of you. I don't know what he put on you, but we're going to baptize it off of you here in a moment. Your family here today? Yes, sir. Where are they? Oh, the whole crew. Look at this. Look at this. I'm sorry, Pastor Josiah ruined this. Are you ready? Father, we thank you so much for the calling of God on her life. And as a profession of her faith, we baptize her now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is Taylor Watkins. Say hi, Taylor. Hey. <laughs> you ready? How old are you? Eleven. No, who's uh, who's who's the who's the parent around here? Do we have one floating around? Are you guys all brothers and sisters? Oh, cousins. Okay, we got some folks down here. Look at that whole crew. Look at that. Good. I'm sorry. It's cold. It is cold. I'll get it done. You ready, Taylor? We got to get work done. Taylor, don't play no games. By the profession of Taylor's faith, we baptize Taylor now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and in the name of Jesus Christ. I think PJ needs, we need another guy. Do we gotta tap PJ out? Good job, guys, good job. So these are all cousins then, getting baptized? Three sisters? Love it, love it. Isn't it awesome to see families going all in with their faith? Um, this is Samantha Lee, hey, Samantha. and today she's making this decision one for herself and her relationship with God, but also to show her kids that you can't take the next step, that you can't follow God. How many kids you got? Two kids. They in here, are they in kids ministry? Or? Um, I think my dad brought them today. Good, good. From Columbus? You're yes. from West Point? Good. Columbus. Well, I'm glad you're here. How long have you been coming to the church? Just recently, I started coming every day, every Sunday. Every day, you're here every day. No, every Sunday, but I do turn you on in the Something to help me uplift my mood. Oh, good, yes. good. But um, I want to also advocate for all women who have been through the same things that I've been through, and mothers. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're getting baptized today, going all in with your faith and your children. I believe God that they're going to see this step, and they're going to know that I can take the next step too. You ready? Father, thank you so much for the plan of God on her life. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that you continue to use her. And as a profession of her faith, we baptize her now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and in the name of Jesus Christ. So this is Mariah Watkins, correct? How old are you? 14. What made you make this decision? Mariah, the great thing is we come to Jesus. The Bible says he removes our sins as far as east is from the west. You know what's amazing about that thought is I have a globe in my house. If you go north and south, 
you eventually go south if you keep going north. You know, you get to the top of the globe and you start going down, you're now going south. But when you go east and west, you can go east forever and never start going west. So when Jesus, when the scripture says that he moves his, removes our sin as far as east is from the west, east and west never meet up ever again. Isn't that something? And getting baptized is a symbol of saying, you know what? I'm washed in the blood of the Lamb. You ready? Mariah, right? Father, we thank you so much for Mariah. And we pray in the name of Jesus that you continue to use her and bless her. And we pray that you get that in the days ahead she will be used by you. And we baptize her now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and in the name of Jesus Christ. Love it. Love it, love it. Hey, this is Lizzie Hicks. She's 10 years old. She says she's believed in Jesus for a while, but this was the next step. And so she wanted to publicly profess her faith through baptism. Good, good. I'm proud of you. You, uh, you know how long you've been coming to the church? Two years. Two years. You got some family out here somewhere? Right there. There you go. Good. Good. I love to see when families come and support, and it's awesome. I'm super proud of you going all in with your faith. And I've said it several times today because I'm noticing we have some younger people today for this service, is when Jesus said, don't forbid children to come, like faith is authentic even at a young age. And they don't, children don't get Jesus Jr., you know? They get the real Jesus. And I'm super proud of you. You ready? Father, we thank you so much for the plan of God on our life. And because of the profession of our faith to follow after you, we baptize her now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and in the name of Jesus Christ. Love it. So this is Soraya where God's doing a work in her heart. How old are you, Soraya? 15? 18. 18. 18. I know it may not be easy to speak, but what is God doing in your heart right now? Come on, we don't we don't always know the burden some people carry. Don't don't always know. But my prayer for you today is that God's going to begin to lift burdens off your heart, and give peace to your soul, and He's never left you nor forsaken you. You believe that? I love this. You're not messing up baptisms for me. This is what it's all about, church. Seeing God do a work in the lives of people. Amen. Are you ready? Father, I thank you so much. And I pray, Father, that you continue to do the work in her heart and in her soul. I pray that she'll always turn to you and cast the burdens on you because you care for her, you love her, you know her. And so, Father, today, by the profession of her faith and saying yes to you, we baptize her now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Come on, give God some glory in the house. This is Kirsten Stafford. She's 17. And I asked her why she was doing this. I'm just going to let her say it. Um, I've always believed in the Lord my whole life, but it hasn't been until this upcoming year. I truly felt like you know, I was walking with God and understanding how much an amazing God He is. And as I'm starting my first year of college, this upcoming and I'm closing this chapter in my life and about to start a new chapter. There's no one else I want in the middle of it all but God. And I'm ready to fully commit and surrender to Him. Come on. You're preaching now. 
I love that. You ready? Yes, sir. Fully commit. Father, we thank you so much for the plan of God in her life, that you've not lost track of her. And today as she says, I want to go all in and fully commit, I pray you honor these prayers. And as a profession of her faith, we baptize her now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and in the name of Jesus Christ. Love it. What's up, buddy? So this Look, is I like the wingspan thing you got going on. <laughs> uh, Albert decided to, to give his life to the Lord. He said this. He said, getting baptized means that all my sins are washed away. That's right. You ready? Mr. Albert, man of God. Yeah, pull your wingspan in. There you go. You ready to go? Who's, who's Albert's people? I love it. You see your people? He's, he's ready. You ready? All right, do it again. Okay. <laughs> Father, bless Albert all the days of his life. Make him a man of God. Let him walk in favor and blessing. Make him a man of valor. Let there be strength in him. Let there be, let there be peace in him. Let there be glory in him. And I pray you use him to be an influencer of the kingdom of heaven and be a terror to the kingdom of darkness. In Jesus' name we pray. We baptize him now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Love it. What's up, man? You doing good? It's good to see you today. You got some family out here? Some of my friends, and then I got some family back home that's streaming online, so... A lot of weird noises coming out of this church. <laughs> wow, man, what's your name? Gerald. And why are you getting baptized today? Uh, for me, i just been through a lot in my childhood, and I remember praying last year, just asking God, like, how does someone really recover from, like, a traumatic experience? And I feel like I was just holding on a lot of burdens kind of throughout my life, and it was just been weighing on me. So growing closer to God, and I just feel like, you know, he really just gave me a second chance. So I'm just trying to start off on the right foot and just live my life and be a good, a good example for my children. So this was all about. These your babies here? Yep. What's up, guys? Come on over here. Oh, bless you, man. Good to see you. Stay over here. Okay, we're done. There we go. How, how old are you? Six. And how old is how old is he? He's three. Kaden's three. Kaden. What's his name? Caden. Caden? Caden. Caden. Caden? Hey man, Caden. Right here. Away over here. You love and move on, don't you? It's like hug and go, you know? You think it's cool seeing your <laughs> look at this. Okay. No, I like it. Don't stop it. We're having a good time. What you thinking, Caden? You guys ready to see your dad get baptized? I love this. You know, here's the thing. I believe a church should be Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Church needs to see things like this, and they need to see generationally what God can do. This is a powerful decision just right in front of your children and in front of the church and live stream. Yeah. What, what would you say to people like you? I would just say, one, it's okay to get you some help. You know, talk to someone. You don't have to do everything by yourself, and then I think the biggest lie I've been told is that God doesn't love me. And it was a period of time I really believed that, so I just, you know, appreciate God for saving me. So that's the biggest thing. Yeah, come on. Hey, Holy Ghost on this baby. Hey, glory to God. Can somebody give God some praise? That's my kind of church. Bring me back to the woo, Holy Ghost. Hey, Pastor Tommy will dance. Glory to God. Don't settle that fire out. Man, glory to God. I'm proud of you, man. You ready? Your kid's gonna be a preacher one day. <laughs> Father, we thank you so much for this man of God leading his family and being an influence. And I pray that you continue to do the work in the name of Jesus, that the days ahead will be bright. 
and that you'll continue to do something magnificent in his heart and in his home. And as a profession of his faith, we baptize him now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, man. I love it. I love it. I need like 500 cadence in the church. Come on, glory yes. to God. <laughs> so this is Brianna Williams. Yes, how you doing? And I'm good, it's good to see you up here. She said, I'm done running. Mm. I'm done running. I've been running from the Holy Spirit for a long time, but today I'm done running. Mm. What would you say to other, other brands out there? you know yeah Jonah that's right Jonah somebody listened <laughs> the thing is it's so funny is that it's it's interesting to watch as we when we insist on running the chaos we create and we refuse to diagnose it properly in the story the Bible says they kept throwing stuff overboard well let's just keep doing this and it must be this it must be that and it's like actually you're just running from God Let's just be honest that some of the chaos that we experience is because we're just not in alignment with the king. And he won't let us go. Yeah. Right? Super proud of you today. You ready? <laughs> Father, we thank you so much for the plan of God on her life. And as a profession of her faith, today she's done running. She's submitting to your will and your way. And we baptize her now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And in the name of Jesus Christ. Love it. Good to see you, buddy. Tom Parsons, and uh, he said that today is just a moment where he knows that God has spoken things over their family, things for them to do, and, and it's just time to lay down the guilt from the past, put those things aside, and realize that God forgave him of it so that he can go forward and do what, what God needs him to do. I love it, man. Shame off you, right? Yes, sir. If he's forgiven us, why do we keep remembering it? There is therefore now no condemnation to them that are in Christ. Just keep on moving forward. What would you say to other Toms out there? You have to, first you have to do what you need to do to make things right and to get better. And then you gotta get out of the way and let God do what only he can do. That's good, man, that's good. You ready? Father, we thank you so much for Tom today. We pray the blessing of God upon him and his family. We pray that you continue to do a mighty work. And as a profession of his faith, we baptize him now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> ah, it's cold. I'm trying to get Caden in the water. He's you look trying. very relaxed. <laughs> okay. So, uh, what's your name? Aiden Schroeder. And how old are you? Okay. I'm 18. 18. What drew you to this decision today? Well, um, first of all, I'd just like to thank my peers because uh, they've always encouraged me to seek the Lord, and I'm so blessed to have them, and I love them so much. But um, I've always known the Lord, but I don't think I've really feared him like I do now, and I've never had this strong consistent of a relationship that I've had with him. Um, throughout high school, uh, it was very hard for me because I had a lot of issues and it was a lot of depressing times and I never, I never brought them to God. I would always go to things of this world and pleasures of this world and I just, at one point I was just like, what's the point? of this life because I just felt like there was nothing in there that would just make me feel complete or happy. And then recently I started back going to church. My girlfriend invited me one uh, Wednesday night 
at the time, I was going through a lot of spiritual warfare. I, I was trying to read my Bible and trying to create a strong relationship with God, but I've always struggled, and I've never been able to be consistent. But I started going to church, and I started meeting all these people. And everyone at this church is just so, they just love me and brought me in with open arms, and I'm so grateful for them. And I've really been making a strong connection with the Lord. And at Youth Summit, I had an encounter with them on the last day. And now I just understand that he loves me no matter what. And that... <laughs> And no matter what happens, what I do, what, how much I sin, he, he's always going to be there for me. And I just hate the sin and the flesh inside me. And sometimes I just wish I could just break apart from it. And I just knew I had to be baptized so I could feel and be renewed in, in his spirit. Because I just want to be new. I, I want to do better. And every day I want to be more like Jesus. I don't want to be the same anymore. I just want to be better. That's good, man. That's awesome. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. We're going to need to scoot you up. Oh. Look at his face. I mean, this is something else. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? Lord, help this man of God. Father, thank you. Thank you for the realness and the authenticity. And I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you continue to do the work in his heart and in his life. And as a profession of his faith, going all in with you, we baptize him now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody give God praise today. Can you let all of them know how much we appreciate them? That's awesome. Will you stand with us all over the room in closing? I'm going to ask you just, I know it's lunchtime and I know you're going to be ready to go, but I do want to pray with you today that if you're in the room today in those messages, you heard 20-something sermons today, I want you to know that God loves you and God's not forgotten about you. And for some of you, you heard yourself in that tank. You're running from the will of God. You're struggling in your own heart. Maybe you've lost a loved one. You're dealing with grief. Whatever the story you heard today that God ministered to you through, can I tell you, God's ringing your bell. And he's speaking to you today. And I want you to know that he loves you and he's not lost track of you. And the best is really yet to come if you can just surrender. That's most of our fight, right? Just surrender. So with eyes closed all over the room, I want to ask a question. Maybe you need to surrender once and for all. Maybe, you've, maybe you have struggled and you've drifted away, but it's time to come home. And if that's you today, I'm just going to count to three. Last service, we probably had 10 to 15 people raise their hand to say yes to Jesus. I want to ask that question again today. If you're willing today to say, you know what, I'm done running. And I'm going to surrender once and for all to Jesus Christ. I want to count to three. I want you to raise that hand to heaven. Are you ready? One, two, three. Come on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Leave them up. Leave them up. Leave them. That's a lot of hands, church. Come on. Give God some glory. Come on. Give God some glory in the house. Praise God. Man, that's a good summer Sunday, right? People saying yes to Jesus all over the room both services and online. Are you ready to pray this prayer? Let's pray it together. Say, dear God, forgive me of my sin. Wash me clean with your blood. Make me new today in Jesus' name. And I surrender all once and for all in Jesus' name. And everybody said, come on, give God some praise all over the room. Hallelujah. Woo! What a good day at this time. I'm going to ask the prayer team, they're going to join me in the front. If you need prayer for anything, we'd love to take a moment and pray with you, whether it's in your mind or your health or your family. I want to remind you that you can give on your way out. And then tonight 
at 6 30 we're going to see you at the lock and dam we're going to have a lot of fun some, some food and fireworks so i'll see you then god bless you in the name of jesus i pray the blessing of god upon you and we'll see you tonight in jesus